arrives at our destination, which is the Mall of America. Uh, so there's gonna be a little vlog here. I'm kind of rushed to get in. It is huge. Uh, I can't show you all of it on my phone camera. So here we are. Let's go in. Here is some Nickelodeon place. I don't know. Seems like I can. Dora, is that you? Hi, I'm in the Nickelodeon store, and we got some Funko Pops. None that I'm particularly interested in, but it's just cool to see. You know, I'm tempted to get these. Uh, I'll think about it. The Peppa Pig merch be elite, though. Can I? No. Alright, we're going into Box Lunch for the hunt for Funko Pops. Alright, we are here, and I'm gonna look around to see if there's anything I want. They do have some Moon Knight ones, but I think I'm gonna get the Moon Knight Funko Pop itself. There's some Lightyear. Uh, we have some, there's Fennec down there. There's a bunch of the Villains ones, and then there's some Funko Gold. And there's another Marvel shelf, which I did not know about, which I'm super excited yeah, about. Okay, this is basically the Marvel shelf. We have the Batman, a bunch of Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. None that I'm particularly interested in. We got some Thor. One sec. We got Thor Love and Thunder, and not even gonna lie, I might pick up one of these two. Uh, I do already have that pop, so it's gonna be a, rev a review, I think, next Friday. So yeah, that's that shelf. And then behind us... We have some Little Mermaid, and then The Witcher. I don't care about The Witcher. And then we have a Baby Yoda. That, and that pretty much sums up a uh, box lunch. I think I will be getting one or two things here. There are a couple things that interest me. Anyway, uh, I'll be back probably at another store. Maybe just me walking around. I don't know. All right, we have Marvel merch. There's a bunch of Infinity Cones stuff. We got the Black Panther mugs and just a bunch of shirts and some books and... A lot of cooking items. <laughs> Why do they have so many cooking items? <laughs> and we also have a bunch of 10 inch uh, Jack Skellington black and white with zero. Then we also have a bunch of Funko plushies. None that I'm particularly interested in, but you know, just cool to see. So a lot of this stuff is just genuinely cool to see. That's what I'm going to be saying a lot in this video. Oh, look, okay, we got Here's some that's gonna get broken. Star Wars stuff. A lot of Mandalorian. Then over here, oh, I think that's a Star Wars purse. Yeah, Queen Amidala purse. We got a bunch of Orange And then we got a lot of Doctor Strange stuff in this thing. So I think I got my two items and I'm gonna check out. Then we'll get to the next store. Just got my stuff from Box Lunch. I'm gonna keep that a secret. Sorry if you can't hear me. And I'll show you all the stuff at the hotel. All right, I think I'm gonna have lunch at Wetzel's Pretzel. Just looks like a rip-off Auntie Anne's, but eh. Alright, so I just finished lunch, and the first thing that catches my eye is these, like, AirPod case coverers. And I just saw that thing. Like, that's gonna be in my nightmares. So I think me and my family just found the Lego store, but we're gonna investigate before we bake some, uh, set it so things. I think we found it. This is so cool. Whoa, that's a new set, isn't it? Whoa, this is really cool. What's not cool is the length of this line. We're at the Lego store. You might see a lot of my feet for people's privacy, but yeah, we're here at the Lego store. Oh, uh, the flowers are cool. I like this hot dog guy. I like the hot dog guy, or the pug. The pug's really cute. The, no, the flowers are really cool though. Mom, they have an Olaf one. Now oh, this is what I like to see. Oh, like seven different Pokemon. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. That's a big pick a brick. Custom minifigs. I might get one of these actually. All the Marvel stuff is really cool. I already have the good boat. 
No, I'm thinking about that one. That one's really cool. I would only get this for the snake. I like how they did Harry's glasses on that one. There's nothing too eye-catching with all the marbles, but I'll let you know if I see something I want. The Milano right there, that's really cool. I mean, the alpaca, kind of a vibe, not gonna lie. There's some cars and like just friends. Yeah. The Home Alone set's really cool. The roller coaster is in action. There it is. It's kind of hard to see. How cool is that? Oh, a little pricey, but really cool. The Ecto one. Oh, that's such a great set. Not a great price, though. There's just chess. The chess is really cool. Though. The chess is really cool. The chess is really cool. And it's only $55. That's great. All right, I think I'm going to be getting this one. This one's really cool. Right, Mom? Mom? I need a confirmed cool check. Is that one cool? I think it's cool. Okay, it's confirmed cool. I really think I'm going to be getting it. It's not working. I just realized you could play chess and checkers. Now you got me thinking about it. And you can store the pieces inside the board. Now, That's a good, now you got me thinking, Mom. That's a good, like, Christmas present price for people. Yeah. Hey, Mom. Good Christmas okay. present price. I'm going to try the roller coaster. This globe set is cool, but I think it's expensive, so... So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. That literally looks like Captain Carter. I think I'm gonna complete all my Eternals and I might get that, just might. Okay, uh, I think we're gonna check out. So next time you see me, I'll most likely be out of here. All right, so we got six sets, four of which are mine and only three of them I can show off in today's video. Uh, I'll, uh, once again, I'll show off everything in the hotel. And next up, I think maybe Hot Topic or another store that sells Funko Pops. This bag is really heavy. All right, so we're walking past the MMM store. I think we're gonna go in there at some point later. Not right now, maybe later. Right now, we are currently trying to find Hot Topic. Um, hi. We have arrived at Hot Topic. And I think I found all the Funko Pops. And well, there's a lot here, so let's just go through it. There's this, which is 100% something I will be picking up. Dad, you cannot disagree. We have a bunch of the Matrix ones up there, some more Moon Knight. We got one M uh, four MJs from Spider-Man No Way Home, one with a awful box. Uh, we have that, which is also scaring me. This one's really cool. It's the brow. It is on sale because most likely nobody wants it. This is a really cool pop. Sorry, anyway, this is a really cool pop. It's just really big and it looks really cool. We have Peacemaker, a uh, Doctor Strange one, go down there. Grinch Wells up there, Cruella de Vil, Maleficent. Uh, a bunch of pocket pops. Ozzy Osbourne. Uh, we have some of the Pride ones going down there. Uh, there's a bunch of, uh, I forgot what it's called. Yeah, Paco Pockets. Uh, the odd one comes in a plastic. Yeah, it's shape. like an album. And we got some Jurassic World Dominion up there. Uh, that one's pretty cool. The Donald Shoulder Angel and Devil. And I think this Moon Knight might be the only one, but I'll keep looking and tell you if there's anything cool. I didn't even notice the Hawkeye ones. We have Korg and Meek. So yeah, we just have Valkyrie, Korg, and Meek. Uh, probably some of the worst characters in the movie. They weren't my favorite though. They were, they were fine. Meek wasn't in it too much. And Gore seems nowhere. And there's a bunch of Meek, wow. Okay, I think the Moon Knight's gonna be the only one. No, I have uh two Stranges. I have like a different version of that one. It's just the one from What If. I like the What If one better. Sinister Strange. Yeah. There's a bunch of strange variants. So I think it's just gonna be the Moon Knight. So I got my thing at Hot Topic. I think you know what it is. So once again, I'll be showing you all the stuff at the hotel. And I think I'm gonna look for my family first, but then uh, I might look for GameStop. Now look how cool that is. Oh my God. What a view of the Ikea. No, that star's really cool.
Alright, we are now entering the facility of the game shop. Let's go. Okay, so we got... Let me put my hot topic back down. We got a damaged Doctor Strange. I have to be a bit quiet. Oh, uh, we got the one of two of the Make a Wish, I think. Yeah, we got the Soul we Make a Wish. Then we got uh, the Stormtrooper. We got a bunch of Pocket Pops down here. None that I'm particularly interested in. We got Maya Lopez. A There's a bunch of Multiverse of Madness stuff like everywhere. We got Druid. We got Mini Make a Wish. Uh, there's a Wong up there. There's a bunch of What If. I think it's just either Zombie Falcon or Queen General. There's some Squid Game, Monica Rambo, and I think this is also Monica. Yep. A bunch of Maya Lopez and Kingo. I don't think I'm gonna get, be getting anything here, but you know, it was fun to come. Well, I was pleasantly surprised to hear there was more. And there's some 18 inches ones. There's a bunch of 10 inches. You know, I might get a 10 inch, but if I don't walk out of, of this GameStop with anything, if I walk out this GameStop with nothing, I wouldn't be too surprised. Mm, but that Coca-Cola bear's sick. We didn't get anything in Hot Top, I mean GameStop, but I think we're, we might come back for the Coca-Cola bear. This, this bag is really heavy. Okay, we've seen the butterfly before, but now I think I'm gonna make it fly after that little kid over there finishes up. Ugh, it's hard to make it fly. I might need both hands. I'm sorry, you won't be able to see the butterfly fly. That butterfly thing was really fun. It was kind of hard to pull, but fun. We're going back to GameStop for a special figure. We got the goods. Okay. I do not think I will be buying anything else. Uh, I think this is going to be the end of purchases. I might do a little more stuff, but I think quickly after this, maybe I'll have a minute more footage. But I think then we'll get to reviewing everything in the hotel. So we're wrapping this whole thing up. But anyway, I got some cool purchases today. I think I'm going to have some footage in the mirror maze. And if I do that MMM thing, I might do that. But... I think that's how I'm going to end it, and then I'll get back to the hotel. Just telling you my plans and how the rest of this is going to pay back. It's hard to find this. Okay, I think I can... This is really confusing. Alright, see you at the hotel. Alright, hi. We are back in my hotel bathroom because that's the only place where my family is not screaming, um, but no. Uh, after I cut the camera, my phone died, and there was a little bit more I could have uh, filmed about. I went in Barnes & Noble, I didn't pick up anything though, uh, so I didn't really wanna show that. I went on some Nickelodeon rides. I did not go on the roller coaster, I'm not a roller coaster guy, but I think I'm happy where I ended the vlog. So now we're just gonna get into all we got and I'm super excited to get into all of this. So the first store we went to was Box Lunch. Now I got two things at Box Lunch. Here, let's start off with Mighty Thor. And never mind, I don't know what I was gonna say. So I did watch the new Thor movie, you know. It wasn't my favorite Marvel movie, but it wasn't the worst. Uh, let's just take this out of the box. Let's... I'm sorry I'm going to do it more upside down because it doesn't damage the box much. And out of the whole car trip, like, a lot of these didn't really get damaged. So, I think Jane's going to need a base. Yep, looks like it. Okay. Yeah, what an awesome pop. 
So we have like the Mjolnir with it being cracked and all. That's really cool. The helmet looks good. The cape looks fantastic. Uh, I mean, how they did the hair on this one was really good. And the back of the helmet looks amazing. Here, let me show you Mjolnir. Yeah, that's really cool. If you've seen the movie, you'll know all about it. It does come with a base. Uh, can it stand without it? Let's You, it cannot. There's this little like pointy thing on her helmet. I don't remember that in the movie. Uh, the cape is really cool. And overall the whole outfit just looks great and it's really accurate. Okay, and the next and final thing we got from Box Lunch, might be one of my favorite pickups today, is Thor. Also from Thor with the Thunder. Now this is him in his new uh, blue and gold suit. And overall, I think it's really cool. Here, let me. And he does have a floating base, so he can fly in the air. And wow, look at that pop. Stormbreaker is amazing. This figure is immaculate. And then his red cape swishing in the back, his hair swishing. It's really great. The blue and gold suit looks fantastic. Now he's kind of like about to charge into battle. He has a scar on his eye. Uh, I would have liked to see it with the helmet, but you know, the helmet wasn't shown a lot in the movie. Wow, this really looks great. What an amazing figure. And the cape just really feels nice too. I don't know why, what about it? That's kind of weird, but it's really cool. And the suit is really detailed. Anyways, moving on, and all the lightning. Wow, that lightning on Stormbreaker is really cool. Anyways, moving on to what we got at the next store. All right, next store we went to was the Lego store. And I got technically four things, but one of them is a Christmas present. So I'll save that for the Christmas video. If you watch carefully enough, you'll know what it is. But anyway, let's just get into the three sets I got. All right, anyway, in the first, we're gonna go smallest to biggest. The first set is the Eternals, uh, Eternals Aerial Assault. I got this for the Sprite minifig, so I could have all the Eternals minifigs and all the Eternal sets. And I'm not gonna go in depth on these because I can't really build them, uh, because I'm gonna save that for when I do get home, because I do not live here in Minnesota. But yeah, this was a cool pickup, and you know, the build isn't the greatest. It gives me a lot of golden claw pieces and those like nice little pearlescent pieces and the Sprite minifig, which I didn't really like the character in the movie of Sprite, but you know, might as well just finish off the minifigs. Anyway, we're gonna try to do this all in one take. We got the Stranger Things 11 in Demogorgon Brickheads. I hope they make more Stranger Things Brickheads. Again, I can't go too in depth on this because I don't want to build it on vacation. I like how the Demogorgon though, has multiple arms. You could see like one, two, three, four, and 11 only has two. 11 also has a little Eggo in her hand. You know, I think all of these are printed, but no, they're not. I don't think, at least. I think the Demogorgon's claws are not printed, but if they are printed, that'd be really nice. Uh, overall, this is a really cool set. I mean, the way they did the Demogorgon's ribcage isn't the best, but you know, nonetheless, it looks really cool. Uh, I thought it might, not, might be a nice little pickup because I just finished the show. Last and final set, which is the biggest, the Sanctuary. Uh, we got three minifigs, Iron Man, Thanos, and Captain Marvel, which is really the only reason I got it for Thanos' uh, minifig. It comes with the Sanctuary ship, which I think it'll be a fun build, uh, but you know, it's not my favorite thing I got today. Maybe not even my favorite Lego set I got today. That 11 brick head looks really cool. You know, it looks fine. It's not the best. I didn't know Thanos could sit in it, but apparently he can. So that's a little added bonus. And it also comes with another Iron Man minifig and a Thanos, which is my favorite character, and Captain Marvel with their new movie coming up. I thought it'd be a good set to get. Also, if you've watched Miss Marvel, Season 2 finale. Tell me what are your thoughts. I really enjoyed it. But anyway, or season 1 finale. I don't know what I'm saying. But anyway, moving on to the next store I went to, which I believe was Hot Topic. 
and necessarily, I only got one thing at Hot Topic, and that is another Funko Pop, which is Moon Knight. I'm trying to get a Funko Pop from every Disney Plus show, so Moon Knight was a definite snag today. And I also got $15 off my next order, which is nice. Anyway, this is a cool pop. It's really light. Uh, I saw all of the Moon Knight pops in the series today. So I guess a bunch of stores are getting them in. And, oh, wow. That's a cool pop. I like how the cape, they always do really good. And the attack stance pose is just amazing. Wow. And you can see the little emblem in the middle. I think it's kind of messed up, but I don't really even care. It just looks fantastic. And they did, like, the mumminess very well. You know, it's really, really sick pop. Uh, there's one of him standing, but that's not exciting. And I believe it's exclusive to the Funko stuff shop. So I think this is definitely a better pickup. And wow, just look at that. And it kind of looks like he's kicking. I'm trying to do the Moon Knight pose. We're going to do the Moon Knight pose. Pose with your Funko. Ah! Wait, no. Just seems like I'm in Karate Kid. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyway. Moon Knight in three, two, one. Wait, no. It needs to be. Okay. That's all I'm going to try before I break a bone or two. But anyway, moving on to the last and final story I bought something from, which is GameStop. And that's a pretty big pop if you know what it is. Alright, and the final thing we got at GameStop was the, you guessed it, 10 inch Coca Cola Bear. And I'm really excited to get into this because I have not got a 10 inch in a while. It is exclusive to GameStop, uh, just to note. Ruin that flower. Oh. Whoa. It has a background insert. Oh my gosh, this is heavy. Wow. This is really cool. Oh, I might sleep with this tonight. But anyway, here it is. He has a little Coca Cola bottle that's actually really cute. And other than that, it's kind of boring. He just has a scarf, and he's a giant polar bear. Which I'm going to hug now. Oh my gosh. I've not got a tennis in a while, nor have I opened one of my big Funko Pops in a while. So just seeing, like, a new one, I'm sure it'll fit wonderfully on my shelf room that I don't have. Oh, it's a little snout, too. That's so detailed. But anyway, let's get into the outro. Because I'm tired, it's almost 10 o'clock at night, and I'm staying up to 11 trying to edit this video, sir. So, you're welcome. But anyway, let's get into the outro. But anyways, we got all this glorious stuff that I got from the Mall of America. It was a really fun trip today. I mean, with all the Funko Pops, four Funkos, three Legos, and one gift card from Hot Topic which I'll probably use at my mall. Uh, tell me if you like these videos, the kind of like vlog style, where it's like I show you actually me shopping instead of just reviewing the Funko Pop straight up. I had a lot of fun making this, and I'm sure if I do it like at Target or Hot Topic, when I save up a bit of money, it'll be really enjoyable, so. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna keep editing, or at least I'm gonna die trying. I'm really tired. Bye-bye. And Mall of America is really fun.